morning. I'm Shelley Schlemp and I'm with the Puyallup Sumner Chamber of Commerce and this morning uh, we're here at our Workforce Connections event in our office and with me this morning is Susan Tichenall, Tichenall. Know, Tichenall yeah. the HR manager at IKEA and right. we were we were really glad that you came this morning and I was hoping that I, I could ask you a few questions. Sure. First of all, um, IKEA is a member of our chamber but you're not in the Puyallup Valley per se, you're out in Fredrickson. So can you share with people, we know it's not a retail store, what is it that you do at the distribution center out in Fredrickson? Yeah, that's a great question. So what we do at the distribution center is we basically feed product to stores all the way from California to Canada. So yeah, we have many, many locations which is why the building is so huge. Yeah. How, how many employees are there right now? Um, currently, in the year that I've been with IKEA, we went from having about 100 co-workers to now 180. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So, um, one of the things, we've had IKEA come in and speak at some of our functions before. One of the things that um, always uh, impresses our members is that they uh, are not afraid to move people around. And that, when I, when I say move around, they mean to all parts of the world, not just mm -hmm. necessarily in the United States. Have you worked at different locations um, throughout um, the nation? I'm really new with IKEA. Ah. Um, I've only been with IKEA for a year. Um, but I replaced somebody that actually went to um, France for his next assignment. So you're absolutely right. We're an international company, and so there's opportunities globally. Um, and also, I think that you know it gives IKEA a much different perspective on how they do business. So one of the things that we're really proud of is um, for a retail organization to be consistently named in the top 100 on Forbes list, on Fortune's most recently list. Um, and the reason for that is because we take such great care of our coworkers. So for me, being in HR, it's a super easy business for me um, working for IKEA because my values, their values, taking care of folks, number one. Yeah. We, we see that consistently when they come out and talk with us. So that's, yeah. that's great to always hear from someone who works there. Mm -hmm. So um, let me ask you, uh, do you have any internship programs that you have at IKEA or that you are sponsoring or interested in getting up and going off the ground? Yeah, glad you asked that. I'm super excited about the fact that this is our second year offering an internship program, the first VC in the United States for IKEA to offer an internship program. Um, we have two different internships we're going to do this summer. One is going to focus on IT, and the other is going to focus on the supply chain kind of traditional um, distribution center type management role. Um, so we're actively seeking candidates for those two positions. Um, the position just got put on IKEA.com this week. Okay. Um, so if anyone's interested, um, that would be great. So what does that look like for an internship program versus being just hired outright at IKEA? Yeah, um, IKEA does a lot of internal promoting, so getting a foot in the door in IKEA is really key. Um, and once you have a foot in the door, people seldom leave. We have very low turnover with IKEA. So um, the internship program is really an unusual segue um, to work your way into, hopefully, into a leadership position with IKEA. Um, without starting as a co-worker. Okay. So it gives you that opportunity um, to learn what a leader does at IKEA and hopefully work into that position once schooling or certification is completed. Okay. And are those, is that a paying internship? It is a paying yeah, internship. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. So, so beyond the tech and the supply We pay more than Boeing. Do you know? <laughs> yeah. We do. I just found that thing. out at a career fair and just like, whoa, look at IKEA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that makes your job easier, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. So do you have any other job openings besides those that you're focused on for the internship that people could apply for? Um, off and on, we almost always have a general warehouse coworker position, okay. um, which Obviously, because we're a warehouse, we have a lot of um, forklift positions, um, people that run forklifts. And I, I know that can be daunting to people um, if you don't have that kind of experience. But really what we look for are people that have the values that we have, um, people that have that positivity, that care about each other, and that have good soft skills. Because we can virtually teach anyone um, that has a willingness to learn how to be a good forklift operator. Um, we've had people apply to us that have had zero warehouse experience. I had someone apply last year that didn't even have their driver's license yet. 
um, and we were able to, she's still with us, we were able to get her certified. The other thing I'm really proud of as a woman um, in the workforce is the fact that although um, you know, a warehouse type setting is traditionally seen as more of a male type position, um, we've increased our percentage um, gender ratio to 30%. Wow. So, and our goal is 50%. So, I don't want anyone to hesitate because, you know, they're not a dude. You know, you can definitely apply. There's going to be people that, you know, you're going to have commonalities with. Um, diversity is huge with IKEA. So, obviously, all different ages, sex, sexual orientation, religion, we have all that covered. So, you'll feel comfortable at IKEA for sure. That's great. That's, I, I, I always am impressed when. Um, I hear about the culture that they have at yeah. IKEA because I think that does go to employee retention. So that's great to hear. So if someone was interested in working at the distribution center in Fredericksburg for IKEA, can you share with us how they would go about contacting you or submitting a resume or finding out what jobs are available? Yeah, super easy. You just go to IKEA.com. Um, there's a site on there for um, careers, and you would just make sure that you would um, click on. I think it's under Spanaway or Tacoma. Okay. Um, if you do Seattle or Renton, you're going to get the store location, which is great, but not if you're looking for the distribution center. Right. Um, so just make sure that you're specifically keying in Tacoma or Fredrickson or Spanaway, um, whichever one they refer to on there. Okay. Sounds great. Well, thank you for being with us this yeah, morning. We appreciate you. that.